Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 26 beta 8 which should be released very very soon. Now I know we had the last beta iOS 26 beta 7 released with a build number ending with the letter A indicating that this might be the last beta but it's not. We're getting a new beta and that will happen really soon so in this video we're going to talk about the release date of iOS 26 beta 8 and what you can expect from that update but also we have some more features to talk about some really useful features that you will be able to find on iOS 26 beta that we haven't been able to talk until now. Now before we get into all that I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel so if you're enjoying the videos and you want to see more of them please make sure you hit that subscribe button it really helps the channel a lot. Now first of all we're starting with screen recordings. So you know that you can record of course the screen of your iPhone and now with iOS 26 beta that quality has actually improved. The quality of your screen recording is higher. So you can see right here I have the metadata here from two screen recordings. You can see this one right here. You can see the resolution 886 times 1920 and then you can see the new resolution right here. So it's basically almost double right there, the resolution. So 1290, 2796, this is the, the new resolution that you get when you actually do a screen recording of your iPhone on iOS 26 beta. Of course, this will follow with the release to the public as well. But again, this is the same device, just on different iOS versions iOS 18 right here and then right here iOS 26 beta and this is how much Apple has actually improved the resolution of your screen recordings. Next up we're moving to the files app so you probably know with the files app you will be able to actually choose what you want to open things with so if I go here have a picture or I have any document I can open them with preview or I can choose preview with quick look which is the default of the files app well on iOS 26 what Apple has done is that they switched that so if I just tap right here actually open an image or maybe a PDF file it would actually open it automatically on the preview app but now once you choose right here to open it with quick look it will do that for every file but you will be able to actually open them to the preview app as well so if I go ahead and open a file here and I have set the quick preview to be the default so basically place where it will open you can see now it also gives me this button right here that allows me to quickly open it on preview directly from here now Apple has done a lot of great work with animations on iOS 26, especially opening and closing apps. So you probably know that on iOS when you go to your setting, settings and go under accessibility, if you go to right here to motion you can actually enable reduce motion and this will actually reduce the animations of your device. Now this animation has also changed so you can see just the corners right there previously it would just like blur the app when you get in and out of the app now we have that really awesome animation at the corners right there so you can see when I open the app how cool is that animation right there it's actually really awesome and of course it's really really fast. Moving on to the spotlight search so you know on spotlight you will get different suggestions and now we have redesigned buttons right here when you swipe to actually remove a suggestion you do the, a suggestion that you don't want to see anymore you can see this little button right here it used to fill this place completely now we have these new redesigned buttons. Now there will be this new game overlay as well. Now when you're playing games you can invoke this from the pop-up that you get when you go into the game mode or from the control center toggle. And it will basically show you this overlay where you can go to the games app from there. You can see your game, your current playing game right here. Then on the second tab you can go to your friends section and then you will have the settings right here for the game that you're playing. You can choose basically to set the display brightness, the sound and of course set the controller settings as well if you have a controller enabled or connected to your device and then you can choose to also to switch on or off the game mode right there so a new overlay that you get when you're on the gaming mode. 
and there is also a new pop-up that you get when you connect a controller to your device so you can see right here connection unsuccessful in this case you use the controls on the DualShock wireless to connect so basically letting you know whether your device your actual controller has been connected successfully or not so these are some really cool new features that we haven't been able to talk about previously and now let's move on and talk about beta 8. so what to expect from beta 8. well with this last beta apple has brought a few new features mostly like some fixes and some adjustments on ios not a lot of big new features but of course we're getting very very close to the release of ios 26 to the public and beta 8 most likely will be the last beta before the rc and then the final release so don't expect a lot of course there will be a lot of adjustments there will be improvements hopefully in battery life even though with this beta i believe it has started to improve a bit i'm getting not that bad of battery life right here with this iphone being at 89 percent battery health it's actually quite decent so just expect to see improvements in battery life performance which is actually really good even as it is but also a few different changes and adjustments to the current features of iOS 26 and not a lot of big new features. So when to expect it to be released? Well, most likely it will be released on Monday. That will be August 25th. Of course, that should be the last beta. Just taking a look at the history of the, of the past few updates and releases that Apple has made with these big like iOS versions. Usually this is the last beta and then we go a week without a beta and then the 8th or the 9th should be the day that Apple releases the RC before the public release which most likely will be September the 15th. Now if you're currently on the betas of iOS 26 it will be interesting for you to actually know that this is the time that you might actually want to stop installing betas if you just like to install the public release of ios 26 so if you just don't want to update to the rc because we're getting beta 8 and then uh, after a couple of weeks we're getting the rc you can update to that and it's basically the same update as the public will get but some people just want to actually update to the public release in that case what i suggest you do is head on to your device and on monday once ios 26 beta 8 is released go ahead install it on your device once you have that installed, then you can just go ahead and turn off the beta updates. That way you can do that from here. That way you won't get the RC release on your device and you won't install it on your device, but you will get the public release once it's out. Because if you leave the betas on, you will get the RC. And if you install it on your device, then you will no longer be able to update to the public release, even though again, that's the same update. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully you find it helpful. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.